This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I was here at the boutique and I found what seems to be like the gold mine right here, folks. All right, what's going on, gang? So here is the deal. We were camping, which is why I kind of look like this. And what happened was there's fires going on right now. And the fire was literally about a mile away. So they had to evacuate us. We kind of just left the spot. But if you look into the sky, I don't know if you guys can see that. All of that right there, folks, is just the result of the fire. So, you know, the video that I had planned out didn't really work out. And so we're here at the thrift store and we're gonna try to do some film camera thrifting to see if we could find any film cameras, anything good really and then uh, take it back home and show you guys what we got. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the only thrift store that we are gonna be heading to today. But let's go and see if we can find anything good. gang check this out so I was here at the boutique and I found what seems to be like the gold mine right here folks check this out I'm gonna unpack it one by one but we got this nice bag right here we got nice leathering on the sides check this out folks so I opened the bag up and I noticed man there's a ton of lenses but if you look this is a distinctive lens type right here 135 these are Olympus lenses Olympus being out of business in the last, you know, month or so, you know, I had to check it out. So here it comes with a ton of lenses. Inside of here, you got some like Ilford. Check that out, folks. Ilford Delta 4 Hundo. That is insane, man. You know, a baggie of goods right here. Some more film. But folks, I'm shaking right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. Holy crap. Mint condition olympus om1 with a 50 millimeter 1.4 i'm gonna zoom in on that now 50 mil 1.4 perfect beautiful look at the lens man 50 mil 1.4 this is a steal of a deal right here guys all right so don't let the price tag fool you folks it's 299.92 but if you guys look man we got 75 percent off today folks so this entire kit all of this right here folks is going to come out to 75 bucks boys that is a steal man i'm going to go ahead and have them save this on the side we're going to hit the plastics but this is the stuff that we come to the thrift stores for right here so let me go ahead and secure this deal real quick folks I will put here, just remember what a start to the day man so we're going to check the plastics right now like i said and see if we can find anything else uh, honestly, it's kind of crazy because the last couple of weeks, I haven't been able to find jack diddly squats. So, you know, having that as the first kind of thing to pop up definitely was the game changer. So here we go, folks. Let's go and just sift through. Let's see if we can find anything else. I don't know if anything else is going to top that, but got a nice little light meter right here. What is this joint right here, man? Digital camera. It's a Minolta, though. Minolta Dimage S414. Four megapixels, man. Okay. All right, so it looks like we got a Pentax ZX50. Nice little lens attached to it and a nice nifty case. Yellow tag. How much is this? 1996 with a yellow tag. So no sale on this one, but I'll be honest with you guys. You know, this wouldn't be a bad deal for somebody just getting into film. You got the lens, you got the camera, you got a little bag too. For me though, I'm gonna have to pass up on it, but just know gang, this would be a great deal for somebody to get into. And I think this is a, a good lens too. It's a 35 to 85, not bad. Whew, check out the heat, man. We got the Disney 28 millimeter, 35 millimeter lens, or excuse me, Disney 35 millimeter camera. Hello? Thrift gods, yeah. All right, gang, we just found 
a nifty little skit. Oh, never mind, it's broken, but keep your eyes peeled. Thrift store scanners, man. 698. The Canon 5600F is actually one of the scanners that a lot of people use to scan like medium format, 120 film. All right, so we're back at the film counter here, and I want to show you guys a little something. I totally skipped out on these two down here. So let's go ahead and just double check and see what's up here first. I can already see that one right there. I think it's an AU1 program with a 50 mil 1.4, I believe, for 300 bucks. We're not even gonna bother touching that one, but I wanna know what camera that is right there. Put that back up there. Got this little Canon lens. What is this? One thirty-five, two point five, forty bucks. Not a bad play, man. It's in pretty good condition. I'm gonna pass on that one for now, but that is a nice lens. Check that out. of the year man as you guys see secured the bag along with the certificate of authenticity <laughs> also known as the as is form so they're not liable selling uh you know products that don't actually work but yeah man that is the start of the day what a what a way to start the day honestly all right guys so we are back home now and we got the bag right here all secured and ready to go but Really quick, what I want to do is kind of just get everything laid out and ready for cleaning. I brought out some Clorox wipes right here because you got to make sure it's all sanitized as well as some like lens cleaning wipes because I'm going to fix up all the lenses and get everything ready to present. I'm going to go ahead and just get started cleaning all of that up really quick. Before we just jump into that, I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to the sponsor for today's video, our good friends over at Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Whether it be a passion project or creating your own website to become a more professional and presentable photographer, Squarespace has all the tools you need to get you started. I've been a Squarespace user for over three years and one of my favorite features is being able to quickly put together a professional portfolio of my current projects. It's as easy as selecting your starting template, which you can personalize as you go then stylizing the presentation of your portfolio and uploading your images. Having a portfolio as a photographer is like a menu to a chef. Every customer before deciding what to eat checks the menu just like how clients select the right photographer based on their portfolio. So I highly recommend if you don't have a portfolio already, you get started with one right away. So if you guys want to get started with your own online portfolio, head over to squarespace.com slash kingjapes or enter promo code kingjapes at checkout for 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. As always, I will be leaving links in the description below. So thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back to our thrift episode. Alright you guys, so we pretty much have everything laid out in front of us here and cleaned. But really quick, I want to go through each individual item and show you guys kind of what came with this entire mystery bag. So first and foremost you guys, the grand prize of the entire thing, we have the Olympus OM-1 MD. And this camera man, just at first glance, looks to be in really good condition. I did a little bit of cleaning on it, you know, I got some of that dust off of it. Uh, there seems to be like no major scratches whatsoever on the camera body itself. All shutter speeds seem good to go. And uh, the only really thing that needs to be done to it is just a fresh light seal replacement, which is probably only gonna take me five to 10 minutes. Came with this really cool vintage looking strap right here, which is kind of dope, but honestly, it's not really my style. So if you want it, follow me over on Instagram and DM me. I'll probably just give this thing away. 
just look at that front element here folks this is a lens with excellent optics from what i remember the olympus glass has always been super super sharp uh, and i've only ever had like the 50 millimeter 1.8 copies of this lens so finally being able to have that 1.4 version excuse me it just feels really nice to be honest with you now this lens did come with a little lens hood right here which attaches straight onto the front gives it a little bit of a nicer profile uh, and yeah that's pretty much the main camera here i've yet to test out the light meter inside of it but hopefully it does work now the bag came with a couple of different lenses as well one of them being this nice little vivitar zoom lens but uh, i think one of the main focal points as well to this purchase and why i kind of purchased this kind of bag as well is this lens right here folks this is the 135 millimeter 2.8 lens i believe and if you just look at the front element here again folks it's a gorgeous lens there's no fungus there's you know no dirt inside of it whoever had this lens before me took very very good care of it now considering that this is a 135 millimeter lens it's tiny i mean this is the same size as a lot of like standard 50 millimeter lenses are so you know in terms of compactness uh, Olympus delivered for sure. I mean, this is their 50 millimeter right here and the 135 is not far off. Now, apart from a couple of random cleaning accessories, this camera came with a ton of random stuff. Like, first of all, what is this? It says REI. On the other side of it, it says Ultrapod. Uh, if you guys know what this is, if it's photography related, let me know what it is because I have no idea. You know, does this go with it? This one kind of just looks like a vice grip. Another cool thing too, man, is that this pack came with a ton of random film. So here's some like Ilford Delta 400 black and white film, same packaging, uh, but this was made, or this, excuse me, this was supposed to expire in 1999. So little over 21 years expired. We also have some Kodak Max, which I believe is now Kodak Ultra Max, if I'm uh, not mistaken. And this expired in 2002. And it also came with two rolls of Kodak Gold, and who knows when these expired. I'm probably just going to shoot them just to be safe at like 500 ISO, considering they are 200 ISO films. Along with those lenses came various different filters. We got like Polaroid, Polaroiser, Polarizer filters. We got some like Skylight filters in here. Uh, some pretty nice ones as well. We also got this Vivitar close-up lens set, as well as a nifty little Vivitar 2000 auto electric flash which probably not gonna open other than that the rest of it was kind of just you know owner's manuals we got some like cleaning swabs i'm guessing for you know to clean the, the little crevices in the om1 here but uh it even includes the original olympus om1 manual that's pretty sick i kind of want to look through that here but this was probably to be honest with you guys the best thrift find of the year so far hands down now Granted, I think I'll say that uh, actually this might be the greatest thrift find because I've always wanted an Olympus camera. If you guys watch my videos from around two years ago, uh, I did shoot a lot with like Olympus cameras. Like I shot with the OM2N, which is still personally one of my favorite SLR cameras. Um, I shot with like an OM10, but I've never had an OM1. And this is the camera that if you're going to go for an Olympus OM camera, the OM-1 started it all. There's a ton of history behind it. The glass is super sharp. Uh, and you know, it's one of the more kind of underground cameras, kind of like what Minolta is. But I feel like Olympus is a lot well more known than Minolta was. With that said, you guys, Olympus did go out of business recently. So, you know, finding this is like owning a piece of history. Uh, and yeah, man, it's just such a handsome camera folks i can't stress that enough olympus cameras have to be some of the most best most handsome looking cameras that were ever made in my opinion so i'm super happy with the purchase the thrift stores were dry for so long and i really just got lucky to pick this up for 75 percent off originally priced at 300 brought down to about 75 so after tax it was like 80 something but that's gonna wrap it up man for this thrifting episode i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm honestly on the fence of selling the camera or just keeping it just because again it's an om1 it's an amazing camera but if i do end up posting it up it'll be on my website which is made by squarespace and uh that's gonna wrap it up you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single sunday and that's gonna wrap it up for me you guys as always it's been a pleasure to serve you we're out